Yeah, it was a tough one. I'm a team first guy, so I'd rather take a W over any individual stats any day. So. The bye week that he needed you to play bigger, play big. Do you feel like you kind of answered that call a little bit? Um, yeah, I think uh, we have a sign that hangs up in the tight end room called Be Big, Play Big. So that's kind of like our motto when we take the field every game. So it felt good to get some opportunities to use my size, and kind of it worked out. So. Uh, I think just me, me personally, I think it just means use my length, use what God blessed me with, and use it as a matchup problem. And even in the run game, just using my length, my arms, and stuff like that, playing with my hands. I think just using my strengths to be my strengths, I think is what it means most to me. Another example of that than the, the first touchdown where you've got, I guess, kind of a seam route or maybe a skinny post there. Mm -hmm. You, you make the catch over a smaller guy. Mm -hmm. What's that? What does that feel like? You know, is that to you? Is that like, hey, that's the prettiest catch of the career? You've had some nice ones, but mm -hmm. kind of how does that all fit in? What's that like to to make that kind of play? Yeah, for me, I mean, I was just I was happy that Kate threw it up. I'm glad he trusts me to make that play, and he put the ball in a great spot. So I think it was just he made it easier on me to make the catch. Um, so it really more so wasn't as difficult as maybe it might have looked, but. I think just being able to use my size and make the most of the opportunity, I think, really helped us out. Do you think there was more of an emphasis on getting you more involved downfield through the open date? Like that was kind of a concerted effort? or? Um, yeah, I think it kind of just happened to be that this game is the game that it happened. I think all season long, I think we've been trying to do it, but I think this game was really where I got a lot of opportunities to catch balls down the field. And that's something that I personally wanted more of to be more involved, like downfield passing and more of a vertical threat. And I think it just happened that this week was the week that we got it done. And I think we'll be able to keep it going going forward. You're the product of the way they're playing defense, too, mm -hmm. with the man coverage. Yeah, no, they're doing a lot of man coverage, um, giving us a lot of different looks up front. So I think that was just a, a matchup that we could use and use to our advantage. So I think we just took advantage of that, <laughs> and it worked out. So. out and very first play you see them playing kind of like the one high safety mm -hmm. going in man do you smile to yourself and go okay they keep this up all game it could be pretty good <laughs> yeah no um yeah I love a one-on-one -on -one matchup a, a game like that where they're just going to put one guy on you the entire game play a lot of man coverage and it's kind of what's your best versus his best and I think um I think that's really fun as a player and a competitor just being able to you know show what you what you can do and kind of just exploit a matchup all game long so watching it also Saw a couple times where you had some some nice run blocks. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you have really really worked on? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I think ever since I, I got to Clemson, I've really just been focused on becoming a complete tight end, being able to play every down, and kind of just use me wherever they need me the most. And I think some of those opportunities come in the run game, and I think just me being able to use my size, um, like we were talking about earlier, and just really focusing on my technique and getting those blocks done. I think. I've gotten a lot better, and I have a lot more confidence in my run blocking now. You were also asked to block sometimes on like, you know, wide receiver screens or mm -hmm. quick kits or something like that. Is there one block this year or from Saturday night where you go, that's the way it's supposed to be done that you remember? Um, honestly, not really. Uh, I kind of just, I mean, every every single play kind of just focus in on it's a play of its own. Every single play matters. So I just, each play just kind of do your best to get your job done. And I think once you, if you get the job done and then, see the results of somebody getting a big run or a touchdown, like maybe the block versus the Syracuse game when Phil scored, I would say that was one that I was like, yeah, that, that actually meant something. It was really helpful in making that play. So I think, uh, yeah, it feels good to definitely get a good block and stuff like that. But on that play that you blocked? On, in Syracuse game or this game? Uh, I think it was linebacker. Mm. Mindset and psyche of this offense right now, it can't be easy struggles y'all have had sort mm -hmm. of closing out drives yeah no we've we've had some tough bounces and t some tough breaks but I think collectively as an offense I mean we all still trust each other we're all still here for each other we're all in this together so I think just the leaders and the leadership on the offense and the whole team really just especially at a time like now I think really just need to step up and uh just get everybody on the same page that I mean we're this is this is not what it's supposed to look like so we just got to get it fixed and uh, go back to work and, and get a win. Anybody have any other questions for Jake? <coughs> All right. Thank you, Jake.
Thank you, guys.